So I wanted to talk about how I know identity is impacting everything. Guys, the number of people, and it always breaks my heart, who have been saying the same thing for the last four years, who have been enduring the same thing for the last four years, it's, it's attached to identity. I told you guys that was me. It was me, guys. So I was dumbing down. I was listening to the wrong folks, right? So I was listening to people who were unsure about who they were. So when I come with these big uh, audacious dreams and visions that God downloaded in my heart, yeah, it's weird to someone who's never gone that far, to someone who hasn't taken time to really get clear about who, if you knew who you really were and how powerful you really are, I mean, if you really knew that, everything, every opportunity that you take will change. And I know we say, you know, people are playing small, but you'll stop playing small if you really knew. I was sharing that uh, one of the people on my, on a video that I've done, it's been a while back, I was watching it, it's on Belief was asking me like, how did you change your mind? I started looking at myself differently. And I'm a believer. And so many of you who follow and come on are believers and we say scripture all the time. But I promise you, if you really believe it, your visions will expand. What you do, the opportunities that you take, the rooms that you're willing to sit in, the risk that you're willing to take, they will change. They will change. If you really see yourself the way God sees you. It was life changing for me. When I got that revelation, that I was living so far beneath, and you know, in the public's eye, looking successful, but I knew there was so much more. I knew it. I knew it in my heart, guys. Many of you know it in your heart. And see, I think one of the things that makes us fearful or sitting in a place of complacency is the fact that we haven't moved. And that thing is just kind of tugging and pulling and you get exhausted from thinking about it, but not actually doing it. The, the thoughts become exhausting, right? So um, some of the things that make us question our identity, I mentioned one, which was my divorce, right? So we're, we're like, you know, who am I now? I've been married, I was a wife, and you know, maybe uh, you, you question if you, your value and worth during times like that divorce, um, age, how old you are. You're identifying who you are and your value by a number. It's not possible for me. See, these are all societal identities that we, um, we place on ourselves, that we live into, right? Um, your role in society. So in, in social media world, there are Maybe so many people that you feel are so much more qualified or they have more degrees or, but there is something that you have, that you have achieved that nobody else has, not the way that you have. And see, until you shift that identity, right, we, we sit in, we sit in old identities. So maybe who we were like, you know, in my 20s, I was sharing with my list that I wouldn't have made some of those decisions if I was the person that I am now, but that's how I was identifying myself at that time, right? So we hold on to old identities that won't allow us to move 
into new seasons. Many of us need, many of you need an awakening. 